Good morning, good day to good people. How y'all doing out there? Had a little something that was on my heart. That's just how uh, sometimes you're gonna have to realize, and I'm realizing it myself as I grow, is that sometimes that, uh, that when you're moving in a certain direction, not everybody is gonna be able to go with you, man. You always think that uh, whatever you are doing or whatever is whatever you're doing to grow is something that uh, that everybody around you is going to be ready for. But you have to understand that all of those people that see you changing now, they know you. They know you for who you were, so they might not be able to trust you either. You know, so you got to prove to them and build up a quality of work that. Uh, that kind of shows and proves, I guess you could say. Uh, it makes me think about uh, a time before when I had uh, lost a whole lot of weight and I was on a huge health kick and all of that. And what used to bother me the most is that every time that I was trying to do something that I know is healthy and that I know is good for me, somebody would always have a complaint or somebody would always have a, a an issue with something I'm doing to... Uh, to further benefit my life. So for instance, like if we would go to Applebee's or something like that, people would have an issue that I decide, if I'm gonna go, I'm gonna take my food with me. So I'm gonna cook something at home. I'm gonna bring a Tupperware out because I didn't come to eat. I came to hang out with family, right? That's that was that's the thing that's supposed to be important, but nobody else sees it that way. Everybody else sees that, hey, you should be, you should be living the same lifestyle that we live because that's what we, uh, do apparently and uh, what that winds up doing is getting you in a it, it, it can get you in a worse position than you uh, than you were in before so like even with that situation I had lost a whole lot of weight gained a whole lot of muscle I was looking swole maybe I'll pop in a picture so I can show you how swole I used to be and I think you can actually see it on my on my channel picture that's one of my old pictures there but uh but yeah, it can take you from a place like that and just uh, being around influence of family and friends and it can throw you all the way back in the other direction, kind of like I am now. And now I done gained all that weight back and more. And now I gotta, uh, now I gotta work twice as hard to get my health together because I allowed myself to be influenced by people who just weren't ready to go. They don't mean that we're bad, that, that, that they're bad people or that you're a bad person for wanting to change it. It's just that not everybody is ready to change all at the same time. And um, I think that like the best way to get family and friends on board with something that you're doing is to show and prove them. Let them know. You have to be successful. And then they'll come along with it. Going back to those times as well, the, mo the, times, the times that I had the most people interested in inquiring about... Uh, the, the different healthy things that uh that I was trying to implement was then when when I was out there when I was losing when I was losing the weight when I was gaining the muscle when I was in the gym every day when I was eating right the way I was supposed to be people would ask me left and right but the thing for whatever reason I guess uh, the negativity always overshadows or a lot of times the negativity will overshadow the positive things that you're hearing and the positive things that you're doing I literally used to have people stop me every day. Hey man, what are you doing? Uh, uh, you think you could? You think you could do a meal plan for me? Uh, you think you could uh, put a workout plan together for me? And I would just let all that go in one ear and out the other. I guess after I gave them the advice, and then I'd fall back into, hey, well, you know, certain family members or certain friends don't want you at the gym for two hours, and let that get in your brain. So you need to hurry up and get back home and lose your motivation and. And or you need to, uh, hey, stop eating like that because it's not conducive for whatever flavors everybody else is trying to eat. I, I, I don't know. I guess uh, I guess people just feel like you're trying to divide your your friendships or your relationships with them when you're moving in a new direction. I find the same thing now, like when I'm trying to be more serious about my finances and uh my finances and not not going out to eat as much and stuff like that because of the health complications and the financial complications I get the same types of uh, I get the same types of pushback from people that you have relationships with now and you tell people 
you tell people your dreams sometimes, they, uh, they'll try to find ways to poke holes all in it. So that's why that's why I'm pretty big on not talking to nobody about anything at all no more. And just going ahead and just get out there and do it. I feel like sometimes they can't trust you or in the back of their mind, they can't trust you because you because of all the times in the past that you fell victim to all the other people poking holes in your balloon and you and you wouldn't rise. So now you got to rise on your own. You can't let nobody poke your hole, poke holes in your dreams, your and your dream balloon, if you will. Um, I think Kanye West said something about that one time about how you can't let the uh, you can't let the dream killers kill your self esteem. And as he said, you have to use the uh, <laughs> the arrogance. He, you know, he said he uses arrogance as the steam to power his dreams or something like that. Either way, I don't remember exactly what it was, but you know, I think uh, I think you kind of get the gist of where I'm going. Sometimes people just aren't ready. Sometimes they have to see you. That sometimes they have to see you prosperous, and just because you love somebody or just because you're you're great friends with somebody, it doesn't mean that they're ready to do whatever it is that you're doing at the moment. Uh, fortunately for me, uh, like when I'm whenever. Fortunately for me, like with my wife specifically, like any time that that we're trying to do something, we 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 pretty much quickly get on each other's page. So most of the time, like if she go get a gym membership, I'm in there. Like, uh, like that's how that's how I got as healthy as I did before. I wasn't trying to go to the gym. I wasn't trying to do none of that. I was just trying to go to work and come home and play the PlayStation. That's all I was trying to do. But uh, she wound up getting that gym membership, I think, uh, shortly before my second son was born. And then I was like, man, all right, well, she bought this. And it was an expensive gym membership, too, like the most expensive one in town. And then I was like, all right, well, she done already she done already went and committed this money, so I'm not going to let these people beat me. So I went in there and I got it. But we get on the same page with each other when it comes to stuff like that. Uh, so, yeah, definitely don't... Uh, definitely fortunate when it comes to that, but... With certain other people, you can't always get everybody else on the same page as you as quickly as possible. So a lot of times it's best to, I, I don't know if I'd call it distancing yourself, but just focus on what you're doing. Just focus on what you're doing and let that be, and let that be what's the most important thing in your life at a time. You know, do that and then all the other, all the other relationships and stuff like that, they can come second, third, fourth, or whatever it is. Because at the end of the day, you're going to go in the casket alone and you're going to wish that you had done all the things you said you were going to do. But hey, at the end of the day, it is what it is. All right, everybody. You're going to be great.